Hi everybody. Here we go again. Are you there? Okay. Hopefully that this is working because I'm going to be dying a half a yard of Door Natural. Uh, Megan, you wanted me to show you how to do a half a yard. Well, I do a half a yard in my microwave. So you can do the same thing in a pot outside, but I'm simply going to show you what I do. So I'm going to use this container. It, oh, it's a um, Tupperware. Oh, it's an old Tupperware one that used to be for ham. And I know it fits in my microwave. So if it fits in my microwave and I can have a half a yard of wool in it, that means I can definitely dye it in the microwave. Now, if you want an even color without any any modeling, you would have to do it in a larger pot with lots of water so it could swim around and you would have to stir. I never do that. So I've decided that I'm going to do my favorite blue. I know you're probably getting me, getting tired of hearing me talk about this, but it's blue green W8 on the cards, blue green W8. And since it is a half yard, we're going, let's see if I can do this from behind here. We're going to take this little sleeve. It's, I don't know if it's my glasses or this is focusing, but sliding this sleeve right over it. Because the card itself, remember, is for one, just one uh, swatch or 10 grams of fabric or wool. So as I slide this on, it'll give me for a half yard or 160 grams. I weighed this and I think it was 163. Uh, I have a picture of that anyway, so I'll put that on the beginning of the, and I'm gonna slide this on so you see what happens. Now I have all my measurements. So I only wanna do in this area here, let's say. So, oh, maybe we'll do a five. It's an even half a cup, okay? So, I'm going to need my jar that says W8. And here it is. Just like a lot of you, you guys will have some that need topping up. So I figured I will show you at the same time. So W8, W8 is blue-green and it's equal parts blue, W9, and W7. Here's my W7. <laughs> Again, it, it is also empty. So first, I have to make the green. So I have my yellow. I warmed it up in the microwave. And my blue. And to make green, To make this is the green I'll be making W second W second W seven a secondary secondary means equal parts of two primaries so it's going to be half yellow and half blue uh, half a cup of each not sure if I uh, yeah I will I'll do half a cup of each I get lazy and I just do equal parts and I'll show you what happens so. If I'm just doing equal parts, I often use my syringe. And what I'll do is I'll go up to the 2 or the 60, whichever. It, I could go up to the 3 for both ones. As long as it's equal parts, it always works out with this system. So I'm going to take, I'm going to try not to be in the way here. I'm going to take equal parts. I'm going up to the six in the yellow. It's pretty well up to the very top of the yellow. And I'm putting that right in the green. So that's actually 60 mils. 60 mils. 60 cc. 
And then I'm going to do the same with the blue. I'm going to come over here and take 60 mils. See that? And I'll put it right in here. So now, that's how easy it is, my green formula is made. So in order to make green blue, I need equal parts of blue, W9 blue, and green. So again, I'm going to take, uh, I'll take two ounces. this time to show you it can be done either way. I don't know if you can see this. You just go to where the dark the dark is at the line. I know there's a lot of you nurses out there that will really like to do, use the syringes. <laughs> They're not giving people needles but just doing this. So that's a blue. And somewhere I have another one. I should have. Here it is. That I will use for the green. So, and again, I'm going up to the two ounce. You can use cups too, of course. You know me, I get bored and I have to. Where is that line? I got new glasses and I can I cannot see in them. Okay. If I can't see, then go down. Could be because it's dirty. There we go. There's the two outs line right there. So this is going in the W8 or the green blue. So that's done. I'll stir it. Ah, now I have a lovely W8. So, now getting back to this, I said I was going to you do number five value. So again, half yard. So I'm putting that on. So for a number five value, it will take a half a cup of solution. So I will measure half a cup. I wish I had a bigger syringe. <laughs> but anyway, half a cup is four ounces. So I could have done two syringes, but we'll do we'll do it this way. Oops. Now I've gone over. I want to be fairly accurate for the value to match a little bit more. One more. and poke the bubble. I just need one more drip. Okay, so that's it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this and put hot water in. I'm going to take this fabric out and put hot water in here. Hold on a second. I'm also going to show you how to do a whole skein of yarn. Let's see if this is a good angle here. This away. Put 
W8, W8, goes away. Okay, I'm going to start with this much water. I'm going to pour this in, swish it around. You know I love the chopsticks. Okay, now I'm just going to stick my fabric in there, but before I'm going to put these gloves on because I'm going to be putting my hands right in the water. Maybe. Or maybe not. It's the closest pair of gloves I have here. So I kind of wrung it out and I'm just going to just kind of drop it in there and see that nice green. Oh, I love it. Okay, now this will go in the microwave for five minutes. So I'm going to turn this off till we come back and have a look at it after five minutes. Here we go. Uh, it's been in the microwave for five minutes. And I have it covered. This is what it looks like. Oops, don't put that in there, Lucy. So we're not going to touch it. We're just going to leave it as it is. Now, you know that I like to sit it as long as it's been in there. But frankly, it's I have a lot of water in there. So I'm going to leave it for five minutes. And then I'm going to put it in for another five and I will be back then. Here I am again. Okay, so let me adjust this because that should be coming out of the microwave for in a in two in two minutes. In the meantime, I what I'm gonna do is get the citric acid ready. Uh, normally I would take when I do a smaller piece, I take it out and then put the acid in, but that's too big, heavy, and hot, so I'm going to put, uh, I've got a half, what have I got, half a teaspoon here? I'm going to put uh, four half teaspoons, or two teaspoons. That should be, that last one was only half, so uh, not much, about this much, because they say a tablespoon does a pound, and this is half a pound. So I'm going to put hot tap water and just give it a stir. I like it to be liquid. That's why I take the wool out because I like to see that it's all melted into the water. Not necessary probably, but Okay, so this is close enough. Taking it out of the microwave. Now it's very hot. It's still not really steaming very much, but enough. And so I'm going to pour this water in here and just kind of scrunch the wool a bit with my hands and if it's hot enough the water will begin to clear you'll see the blue get taken up first Can you see that and then the yellow and I could probably leave it at this point but because we're doing a video See that? So, so far, 10 minutes in the microwave for a half a yard. And I'm certain there's no white core. The white core is from the soaking, so this was well soaked. Let's see if I can pull this up so that 
you can see how pretty can you see that let's see how pretty that is so what I'm going to do now and see the water here I'm just gonna let it sit there till it cools off Right. No way. I can't. I can't. I have to wring it out. So I'll show you what. When you have ADD, <laughs> working with the microwave is a good, a good thing. So what I'm going to do. Pour that out. I'm going to put some hot water and a little bit. I use a tiny bit of. Will light. You know that I like this stuff, and I, I know some people say that it's a little harsh, but you know what? It's a little drop, and I feel it. This one is for delicate wash, so I'm washing the fabric at the same time, and then so this will take out any. Oh, let me do this. Any dyes that didn't get dissolved. There's no no glue in that water. So now I'm gonna rinse it with clear water. And then this will go out on the line. So Megan and all of you out there that are wondering how to do half yard. I'm moving it towards the cooler so I can handle it. Over to the cold, and then that's it. Now, no ringing, just squeezing. Now, this will go out on the clothesline. How do you like that? It looks a little bluer on the camera than it is. It's a green glue, so that's it. While we're waiting for the wool in the microwave, I thought I would bring you out and show you the half a yard of the W8, which is eight o'clock on my color wheel and W8 is blue green. Isn't that beautiful? So gorgeous. It really looks more green in person than it does on video for some reason. I'm not sure why, but anyway, so now the wool should be ready to come out of the microwave. I'll be trying, I'm going to try to patch all this stuff together into one video, but let's hope it works out. Isn't that pretty? Oh my god, I'm so 